The old coot here coming back at you with another exciting video. Okay, so Fernet Branca, Branca Menta. Which one tastes like what? How do you tell the difference? If you saw the video just before this one, yes, it was over like 20 minutes. You kind of saw me, you know, reach out to, you know, if you know, then you know. But Fernet Branca kind of just reached out. I wanted to reach out to them, you know, for maybe some possible sponsorship partnership opportunities. I'm not being sponsored by them currently. This is April 2024, the last day before we hit May tomorrow. But if they want to reach out to me or even San Pellegrino, which I feature in a lot of my videos when it comes to libations, I'm not sponsored by any of them. I have to pay for this stuff on my own. But if they want to reach out to me, I'm all for it because I absolutely love their products. There are so many different Italian Amari, plural, Amaro, singular, that I just love for different reasons, different times of the day, different days of the week, different months out of the year. So if any of them want to reach out to me and they're watching this video, hey, let's, you know, just just saying, you know, like, like I'm not really going to be blatant about it, but just if you know, then, you know, just, just say, oh, oh, and, and, you know, the gold sealer. Okay. Just, just saying, if you know, then, you know. Okay. So <laughs> with that being said, if you saw the video I did prior, you can tell kind of which one of these I kind of like better because I just keep going back to it. I'm, I'm straight and I'm single and I just, it's like meeting a new woman for the first time that you have a mutual interest in. And you just every time you see that person, you just get more and more educated about how how that person thinks and how they feel and what their thought process is. And in this case, it's every time I keep going back to either one of these. I just, I, I learn something new. I pick out a different note or a nuance or whatever. And to be fair, to keep, to keep everything's fair, I am mixing. Usually my ratio of libation to the San Pellegrino club soda, you know, mineral water, whatever I have, it, I have it on hand at that time. And in this case, the San Pellegrino, usually I do a one-to-one -one ratio. So if I put one ounce of Fernet Branca, I'm putting one ounce of San Pellegrino. But in this case, because, because I love this stuff so much, it, it's just, it's kind of more of like I put the Fernet in or the Branca Menta, and then I just put a splash of the San Pellegrino or the mineral water because I, I'm just trying to take the bite off. I'm just trying to take the alcohol forward or spirit forward bite off. And I want to, I want to taste more of what's actually in here. And literally no joke. Every time I taste this, there's always a different ratio of how much ice is in there, how much of this I put in there, how much of club soda or mineral water I put in there. So I'm getting different notes and different flavors every single time. I try to keep it mostly even. You know, I try to pour like, especially when I'm doing a comparison video like this, where I'm doing a side-by-side -side shootout versus video, whatever. But in this case, I just, in the last video, I just, I couldn't stop drinking the Branca Menta. It's just so tasty. Okay. Forward notes, things that you're getting, the push forward. In the Fernet Branca on the nose, it's very eucalyptus and pine with menthol. And the, there's different types of mint and different types of menthol. Spearmint is more, in this scenario, spearmint is more sweeter. There's only 0.5% menthol in the spearmint. In the peppermint side of mint, peppermint, like let's go this way because that's kind of how this is leaning right now. But peppermint is more 40% menthol. So you're getting like, what is that? An 800% bump or boost in the menthol. The peppermint tends to be more of like the astringent type of peppermint where you're getting a minty taste, but you're getting more menthol taste. And there is a difference between the two. The one, one example, like a good way of describing this would be like Listerine. There's a, there's a blue Listerine and then there's like a yellow Listerine. The Fernet Branca tastes more like the yellow Listerine. It's more astringent. It's more bitter. There's hardly any sweetness. That's the taste profile. In this case, I am I hope I'm not giving away any Branca secrets here, but I'm tasting more of the spearmint, or at least whatever's in here is making me lean in that direction of more spearmint, more sweeter mint, whereas this is more peppermint, more bitter mint, if that makes any sense. Yes. I hope so. I hope so. Okay. So let me just give it a quick nose test again. This is the Fernet Branca. By the way, this is 39% alcohol by volume. Let's see if that shows up there on camera. Here's kind of what the label looks like. These are the little 50 milliliter sizes because I'm in such great sadness that Total Wine discontinued the Fernet Branca and the Branca Menta. I think they may still carry this at certain select stores, but oh, I was crushed. I was like, please. So there's hope. Right, the dry, the phoenix rising from the ashes. Mission Wine and Spirits in Southern California, the Pasadena store has like everything, but 
If you're nice to your local Mission Wine and Spirits, which I usually am, love those guys over there and gal, I must say, if you ask for it, they shall get it, <laughs> right? Yeah, like fill the dreams. If you build it, it will come. Okay, so so if you ask for it at your local Mission Wine and Spirits, they could probably either get it from the warehouse, especially the Branca Menta in these little sample sizes. If you ask for it, they can either get it, acquire it, somehow bring it to the location of Mission Wine and Spirits that's closer to you. Anyways, both companies, great staff, great, great products. I shop at I shop at them for different reasons. You know, whoever's got the sale going on, a lot of that kind of stuff. But also it's the customer service. Sometimes there's a specific individual at either store, sometimes both stores that I want to just kind of talk to and shoot the breeze and ask them what's new and, you know, what's going on. But anyways, let's go ahead and give these a, a sniff test real quick. So here is the Fernet Branca. Did I mention that? Yeah, this one is 30% alcohol by volume. That's the Branca Menta. But let me go ahead and sniff the Fernet Branca. Yeah, so very, very eucalyptus forward, very pine forward, very peppermint menthol forward. That's what you're getting on the nose. On the taste, what you're getting is more of the same. Very bitter, extremely bitter. I would say in a ratio of bitter to sweet, it's probably 99% bitter. I, I hardly taste any sweetness in this whatsoever. And I think because of that higher alcohol content, I think because I also diluted it with a little bit of, of the San Pellegrino, the mineral water, you kind of get the idea. It's very bitter. And then the the main in a percentage of 100, the main forward push of flavor and notes that you're getting are eucalyptus, pine, and menthol. That peppermint menthol, that more bitter menthol, that's what you're getting. Bitter, bitter, bitter. Bitter to sweet, 99% bitter, maybe 1% sweet. And then in terms of like, when you really want to get fancy schmancy and snooty tooty and all that stuff, maybe, maybe somewhere in there, you're picking up some rosemary, thyme, and sage, the alpine herbs. Think about going up to the mountains in Southern California or even in the Sierra Nevadas where you're just you're just kind of getting into that timber line, right? Where you're picking up some of those alpine herbal kind of smells. That, that's the herbal that I'm smelling, rosemary, thyme, and sage. Okay, let's go to Branca Menta, which is kind of like... I'm not going to say it's a 180 polarizing polar experience or whatever polar opposite experience, but the little that I have in here, I think should be potent enough. Let me go ahead and give it a good little sniff. Oh, heavenly, heavenly. Okay. What I'm getting here is it's kind of the same notes that were in the Fernet Branca, right? But what I'm getting here is more of that, more of that good mint smell, meaning that I'm, I'm starting to pick up the sweet spearmint. And the menthol from the peppermint is still there. So it's kind of like they're using both in this one or maybe at different ratios, different percentages or whatever. And then in the in the like in the next category down, so in a percentage of 100, I would say a 50% is is that menthol kind of note in the in the top 50%. Underneath it for maybe 45%, it's a mix of the eucalyptus and pine. Whereas here it was more like a third, a third, a third. Does that make sense? Yes, I hope so. Okay, so now for taste tasting purposes, let's go ahead and taste it with a little left in here. Mmm. Yep, I'm definitely tasting the sweet spearmint. Definitely tasting it. The menthol, the peppermint menthol, is there, but I'm definitely tasting more of the sweet spearmint. I would say in a ratio of 100 of just the spearmint to peppermint ratio, it's almost a dead heat of 50-50. Like maybe just a little bit more spearmint, maybe like 60-40 spearmint to peppermint ratio. And then in the overall profile of 100 of flavor, taste what I'm getting. I would say that top 50% is the menthol mint, right? That combination of peppermint and spearmint. And then underneath it, 45% or so, I'm getting the eucalyptus and pine. So it's not, it's not that the eucalyptus and pine are less powerful in this. I would say it's just that you're just getting more mint and you're getting more of the sweeter mint. And this is definitely sweeter than this one is. It, you're still getting bitter, but I believe it's like in a bittersweet percentage ratio. I would say, man, it's so close. It's like 51-49, 51% sweet, 49% bitter. But it's a, it's a perfect harmonic balance of bitter to sweet. So anyways, this video could go on and on forever like the other 20-minute <laughs> version did. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. But what I will say is, me personally, I can't choose sides. I can't say I like this one more or this one more. I just have to say that 
there's different times of days when I want these and there's different days of the week that I want these after a certain meal, before a certain meal. They're great as an aperitivo, like just smelling them. My mouth became moistened. It be, I started salivating. I wanted to taste or drink or eat whatever it is that was in front of me. After sipping them, this one, you definitely get more of an astringent kind of a thing going on where now it's slightly drying out your mouth. But in a digestivo standpoint, I could have a huge Italian meal. Like I was talking about in the other video, I could have a pizza, pasta, maybe like a cold seafood kind of a salad with octopus, calamari, clams and mussels, garlic, a little bit of lemon juice and some olive oil and some salt. Like I could have all that after drinking an ounce of this, I would be hungry again within an hour. Just say <laughs> this one, same kind of effect. It, I'm getting on the nose. It, by the way, both of these will clear your sinuses. Like if you give them a good sniff, it's kind of like eucalyptus, you know, vapor rub, that kind of vibe. Like that's kind of the note that you're getting off of it, off, off of the nose. But the nose salivating, wanting to eat more, drink more of whatever it is that's in front of me after tasting this. There's a little bit of astringency, but not by much. I, I honestly resalivated very quickly. I think my brain is like, smell it, taste it, smell it, taste it, smell it, taste it. And my brain's going back and forth of like salivate or, or, or astringent, you know, like back and forth. So I'm kind of getting those vibes. But anyways, either choice is a great choice. And like I said, just, you know, just talking to, you know, this company here, you know, just, just kind of mentioning it, you know, if they want to, if, you know, if you know, then, you know, you know, if they want to reach out to me for any sponsorship partnership opportunities, like I said, I'm all for it and I'm open to it. April, 2024, I'm not being sponsored by either one of, you know, either one of the, the Fernet Bronco company or the San Pellegrino boat. If they want to reach out to me, I'm all for it. Anyways, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down there before. I hope this extensive video has helped you make up your mind about which one might be the right one for you. Last tip I'm going to tell you, I have to mention this. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button down there below. I will put links to some bar tools down in the description. But the last little pro tip I'm going to tell you is, please, if you're doing this for the first time, drink responsibly and also sip. Don't take shots. Because if you take a shot of either one of these as your first experience with this, you're probably going to have some, some reaction where you're never going to want to taste them again. But if you, if you sip them the same way that I showed you here, right? Just put a little bit in a glass. Let's say you put like a little bit in the glass and then just put a little bit of some San Pellegrino club soda, mineral water, whatever. I wanted more of this anyway. Just saying, <laughs> give it a good swirl or stir it with a bar spoon. Give it a good sniff. Then give it a good taste. Mm. Your world will be a completely happy, positive, much, much more forward to experiencing something new if you sip it and you enjoy it versus taking a shot. Anyways, catch you all in the next exciting video.